hello everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i'll be talking about an introductory of what is MOF and what is mal88b MOF. so when we do a let's ask google what does it say slow so like according to wikipedia mal sorry mof is an metal organic frameworks which are called as class of compounds which contains metal ions as well as an organic linker so so these are usually built by something called as with the metals as well as an organic moiety linking between the metals so there is a detailed description of what is mof and how does it uh, use to synthesis and a lot of things have been given in my previous video so i'm not going into detail in today's video we'll be seeing what is mil 88 b what is mil mof so mil let's go to google so let's type mil metal organic frameworks so let's see like what is mil series of metal organic frameworks so like uh, there is one paper in this which says like mil is a novel class of metal organic frameworks that are used in different applications so this mil is built from something called as uh, carboxylic acid linkers there are different types of linkers and mil typically stands for materials of institute of lavoisier so what is this institute of lavoisier like who was the pioneer in performing all these so institute of lavoisier is something called as so institute of lavoisier is an institute in france where there was a professor called as ferry so he is called as Grigat ferry So I think he, so this was the person like, uh, this was the person who belongs to material Institute of Lavoisier who prepared this material. So thus it is called as MIL, MIL series of MOFs. So this MIL series of MOFs are, there are varieties of kinds of MIL series of MOF. And uh, I was so impressed that uh, I just wanted to ask our new AI friend, which is called as ChatGPT. So let's find out what does chat GPT says. So let's ask like what is MIL metal organic frameworks. So according to chat GPT, chat GPT gives a really an interesting information. So chat GPT says that MIL is, stands for Material Institute of Lavoisier. Yes, we know that. These are porous type of materials which contains metal ions and or clusters linked by organic ligands to form a three-dimensional network. So the name of MIL comes from the research group uh, at Institute of Lavoisier, which is in France, that was first synthesized this MOF. So and who was the person who was behind it? was very like he so he was the person who was a pioneer in this mil series of MOF, and there are different types of mil series of MOF, like mil 53 mil 88 and mil 101 so typically all these have small small structural difference for example like i have got a paper where it shows that so in this manuscript so this is an iron and chromium MOFs. They have synthesized this ion and chromium MOFs and used it for a catalyst for transfer hydrogenation of carbonyl compounds. So in this paper, there are MIL-88B and MIL-53 has been deeply discussed for the synthesis. So let's go here. So when I click it on the table of contents, the synthesis of MIL-88B chromium, it directs here. So the first discussion is how MIL-88B chromium is synthesized. So according to this paper, if you take a chromium chloride salt and then dissolve, so MIL-88B chromium and amino substituted MIL-88B chromium were synthesized by mixing chromium salt, which is in the ratio of 0.4 molar and then equimolar concentration of terephthalic acid or we can also call it as benzene dicarboxylic acid with some drops of HMF, HF 
in DMF. So all these has been dissolved in DMF in 5 ml and this was placed in a Teflon walled autoclave and heated it to 210 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. So this is the typical synthesis of MAL88B chromium MOF. Suppose in similar condition if you come if you wanted to synthesize MAL88B iron MOF this is not the same. Suppose if you just change the chromium into iron it I don't think it will give you the substrate. So in to synthesize MAL88B iron what you have to follow is a different procedure which is typically different. Usually along with the materials like if you change just the metal it will give you the same morphology but in case of MOF it is very type synthetic uh, sensitive process where you would require a different material or a different synthetic procedure for a different metal ion. So therefore to synthesize uh, iron MOFs of the same category of same morphology what you have to do is you have to take nitrate salt of iron not chrome chloride salt. In case of chromium we took a chloride salt and in case of iron we are going to take a nitrate salt. So nitrate salt uh, which is 0.4 millimolar and um, BDC 0.4 millimolar or if we are synthesizing amino substituted BDC then amino substituted BDC 0. molar, and all these are dissolved in ethanol. In previous case it was dissolved in DMF. So and then in previous case there were HF used and why HF is used I will explain it later and uh, so in this case ethanol is used as a solvent so and this was still at room temperature which is almost like high a little higher than the room temperature which is called as 32 degrees celsius for 24 hours but whereas it was heated at 210 degrees celsius at for 24 hours so after that in this chromium the dark green colored powder was collected and filtered and washed with the same solvent and dried in a vacuum oven so in this obtained product was filtered and it was again washed off with the same solvent and then dried so this is how this is how it differs like change of metal just differs similarly if you wanted to synthesize mal 53 instead of mal 88 so we're now using the iron catalyst but it is different to synthesize mal 53 class of MOF, where you have to use a chloride salt of iron and then it was heated, it was dissolved in DMF and then heated in Teflon land autoclave for 150 degrees Celsius for 15 hours. So in this, in this case, the obtained powder is dark brown in color. So and now this was washed well with warm ethanol and dried at 120 degrees Celsius. So this is how a small difference in the characterization, I mean in the characteristic synthesis of each morph differs. When we see that, the both MOFs are MAL88B. It it just it just differs in the metal center, but the synthetic but the synthetic procedure synthesis procedure can completely differs. Similarly, the synthesis procedure of MAL53 iron and MAL88B iron is completely different. So MOFs are very high sensitive towards the synthesis material. Like how do you synthesis? If you have if you change small parameters. It would change you completely. It would you will yield a different morph completely. So and in this paper they have discussed like uh, the measure the XRD and then the bit SEM. All these goes on. So now let's ask our chat GPT like synthesis of. So let I just wanted to validate how does it perform. Let's say like. Iron. So one good thing with this uh, chat GPT AI is like the second search is based on your previous search. Suppose it just remembers what was your first thing dissolve first thing follow the first result and then it just takes up from that carry on carries over from that. So typically ML 88 B involves solvothermal method using iron 3 nitrate and then uh, okay this does not this uses a different it, it doesn't use benzene dicarboxylic acid it gives us an information about benzene tricarboxylic acid you should be very careful we were searching for mal88b which was dicarboxylic acid so the first step is to dissolve nitric an iron 3 nitrate and the benzene tricarboxylic acid in dmf or dmac uh, and then transfer into a Teflon line autoclave, heat to 120 degrees Celsius for 15 hours. It does not specify how many, how much time, typically overnight. So which means almost like 
24 hours and allow the reaction to occur so use the stirrer in the autoclave can use of stirrer in autoclave can aid in the formation of more uniform product after the reaction is complete allow the autoclave to cool down to room temperature before opening it collect the resulting solid filter or centrifuge and wash it with the multiple times with the same solvent as ethanol or water to remove impurities so this gives us an overall like approximate synthetic procedure but not in detailed synthetic procedure so so like relying on ais and chat gpts are really there are just different ai which i was recently perplexity ai and the one good point about this perplexity ai is that it gives you it gives you an link of where you can find the synthesis results so it gives you the result but it also gives you the so we have asked perplexity ai how to synthesis mal 88 bin so it gives you in the one good in advantage of this is it gives you references where it has collected this so this information has been collected from five different sources so an acs paper a frontiers paper and cd bioparticles and a science direct papers in our and rsc paper so i think like this is more perfect because it gives you the data where it has collected and if you have any doubt or if you wanted to read more it also gives you the source of where does it collect where you can get redirected and see so coming back to our synthesis like there are uh, for only one mal series there are multiple different synthetic procedures and i also wanted to introduce something called as mixed metal morphs or mixed metal mal 88 bs so if you go to this uh, let's view the pdf of this and then so previously we have seen mal which is of single metal morph second was mal 88 b first metal was mal 53 now we are going to find a procedure for the mal which is of bimetallic morphs so experimental synthesis yes i think it is not clear it is getting loaded so this shows that yes here we have it so in this paper discusses about the bimetallic morph which is mal 88b fe2 nickel so in2 nickel so how do they synthesize it so according to the reporter procedure in 38 where 3 molar of iron chloride where 3 molar of iron chloride and 1.5 molar of nickel nitrate so it says like the the ratio is 1 is to so which means two times of iron and two time one time of nickel so that is what the ratio of metal here which is one ratio one is to two so the iron concentration is double the concentration of nickel so similarly during this is also it was taken that nickel concentration is half whereas the iron concentration is double the time of nickel and 4.5 times of terephthalic acid which means all together the three times of terephthalic acid was used and it was dissolved in 100 ml dmf to get a clear solution and after which 1.5 millimolar of acetic acid ch3coh was acetic acid was added and the mixture was stirred for 10 minutes and reflexed at 125 degrees celsius for 5 hours you should note here point that in previous mal 88b it was or it was uh, in chromium case it was autoclaved in iron it was stirred at 32 degrees celsius for at room temperature but in case of a mixed metal morph the thing is it is stirred at 125 degrees celsius for 5 hours so the incorporation of one nickel center into this mal88b completely changes the procedure so that you should be aware that now currently because of the time limitation i just took two examples of mal88b and there are different class of mal's available so technically these mal's are in very interesting 
class of materials where it can be used in a different application starting from drug delivery, water purification, catalyst, electrocatalyst as well as and for organic conversion. It, there are some cases where it, it was used as filters as well as heat dissipation material, a protective layer on all those. So depending on the modification of this, it can be changed into a different applications so that it is time sensitive as well as the synthetic procedure sensitive material if you do a wrong synthesis and you may not end up in a pure structure it would be a mixed structure of MOF where the property of that cannot be guessed all over so so I was previously said why these are added we know that the synthetic synthesis the final product has only the iron nickel as well as the terephthalic acid but whereas what is this acetic acid what is the role of acetic acid similarly when we look at the previous procedure we found something called as hf where you found hf was used so what happens is the typical structure of mal 88 b i do not know where do, do they have it or not okay let's go and find it out yes okay so this is a typical structure of mal 88 b what happens is this mal 88 b structure has got one organic center in the center one mu3 oxygen which is called a uh, two electron three centered bond so this mu3 oxygen is linked to a three different metal centers so in this case i think that uh, green color denotes ion center and uh, the orange color denotes nickel center so which means that in in this case it was seen that the two metal center and one nickel center so since it is an oxygen is minus two of charge so i'll just pull out something in my l 88 b and structure i think yes i got it here yes so u3 you see that oh this the so I think so you you see that the oxygen is O2 minus so this it, it should typically form only two bonds but instead of two bonds it forms a three bond so because of which the negative charge of oxygen can satisfy only two metal centers not three metal centers thus the third metal center has got a positive charge in it so thus it requires a negatively charged ion such as f minus or ch3 coo minus such negative charged ions to be inside the framework to stabilize it for example like this is also at mal 88 b so we would see that I think when it's getting loaded these are also mal 88 b structures where there are something inside the pores so when you see that there is some red dots inside the pores and these red dots are nothing but these are the solvent molecules or the anions of the solvent from the synthesis method which is still resides into the pores which helps in the stabilization of these structures so in most MOVs, we would be 